My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to the Binding Isaac Afterbirth. All right, I'm thinking greed mode, but the only character to do online greed mode is the Lost, so let's do the Lost on greed mode then. It's not a bad start. I'll take it. Okay, and now we make our way in here. Really? <laughs> Whoa, okay, we're going to get a damage up when we leave the room as well. Because that's when Horror Babylon will kick in. Well. That worked out really well. So now I probably just never want to re-roll. Which basically just means that I need to hold on. And just work past the waves. I'll be fine for all of the early waves. For like the first few floors I should be fine just off the back of those items. Really, our biggest problem is going to come from our tier rate right now. So things that increase tier rate are going to be A-OK -okay with me. Uh, I technically can never get hit, because as soon as I get hit, I'm dead. So I'm thinking maybe it's not a great idea to try and take the Swallowed Penny and hope that it does anything for me. Best trinket would be Counterfeit Penny or Blind Rage. I really like Blind Rage, actually. Gives you more invincibility frames from the breaking of your Holy Mantle. I don't know if you can get Humbling Bundle in this mode, but I would love it. None of those are appealing. That's really cool. I mean, my tier rate is now abysmal, but... I grant you, we can do things like that. Oh, I actually didn't need to do this fight, of course. I already had all of the deal with the devils. I guess I just wanted to do it for fun. Alright, let's go down to the next floor. That is the... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's so difficult to speak, because that's just such a great early floor. Okay, so here's actually what I'm going to do. I'm now going to go back and I'm going to take Turdy Touch. So that if anything small tries to... And we're going to take Spoonbender. So if anything small tries to come for me, it's going to become poop. And then I'm going to turn that poop into money. But it also freed up the space for Spoonbender, which is incredible. So now all of my shots are homing. Uh, I'll take it because it's going to be my second. One damage up. Yeah, actually that ultimately works out pretty well for me. Only hit that I really took is against shot speed, so I really don't care. We're going to have a lot of problems with our tier rate. And it's going to be very difficult to hit many quick, small things. As you can see now, our last two waves have been small enemies and we haven't been able to take care of them. Not in time, at least. As the Lost, by the way, it doesn't hurt you to stop the... Uh, stop the waves from coming. And that's not because it triggers Holy Mantle. It just doesn't hurt you to do it. So it's good to keep that in mind. Just in case we waste our Holy Mantle charge and need it back. So now I've got Penetrative and Piercing. Great combination. I may need range at some point in the future. Let's try this first. Wow. Fate's reward. Look at Fate. He's going to be firing out occasionally. Eh, not even that often. Hmm. I guess I'm a little more disappointed than I thought it was going to be. Uh. Maybe? Yeah. I'll take it. Oh. What? It's that many... Okay, so it fires out a bunch of bombs. I assume this is because I have... Uh, because I have Monstro's Lung that's doing this. And the bombs are going to poison people because I have Bob's Curse. So this is going to be really good. Oh my god, they're homing. The shot actually aims itself a little. Sure. 
Sure. Well, I'll take care of Krampus. Hopefully, just as the panic button against uh, quick, small waves. None of that's important to me right now. Actually, I do have five bombs. Actually, hang on. May as well just bomb the machine. I don't know if Cole can... Uh, I definitely want to take Black Candle. I mean, there's no reason to really take anything else. So the reason I take Black Candle here is so that... If I get down to a Curse of the Blind Floor, I don't end up taking something stupid like Soy Milk. So my damage is now 8, but it's not 8. I mean, I don't need to explain that it isn't actually 8. Right, do I? Range down. Eh, it doesn't matter, range does not actually affect this character like this. Mm hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Actually, I'm gonna leave and come back just in case. And start the wave. So this is where we're gonna be having troubles. Yep. So I stopped the wave and I left the room and came back. Not only because now I have enough to check the item room, but also because I'd lost a Holy Mantle charge thanks to running into an enemy. There's Soy Milk! If I didn't take the Black Candle last floor, I would have taken Soy Milk. Fuck yes. I am so justified in taking that. So now what am I looking for? Uh, I'm looking for Sad Bombs. Specifically, actually. Because Sad Bombs now synergizes with Epic Fetus, and it would be shooting out just absolute ass loads of scythes. Which means that I would be able to take care of small waves as well as I take care of quick waves. Okay, lost my holy mantle again because I'm dumb. That's a lot of bombs at the same time. <laughs> Whee! And I'm locked into my deal with the devil precedent, thankfully. Okay. Start bombing this. There's a few things that have appeared that I could take, but that I don't really care about. Small enemies just die in one hit. I don't need to take that. I don't really need to take damage up. I don't really need to take... Shot right up. I do need orbitals. Oh well. I can't ignore the fact of that situation. I do need orbitals. Uh, I guess I'll take the guppy item because it won't affect anything. Because we don't really have end of room drops here. So. Or even if we do, we don't have that many. Okay. Nice. Take the damage. Uh huh. Blow you up as well. And that. Nothing really. Hmm. I don't want to take the size down. Yeah. I don't really need the high fire rate, but the size down is going to make it more difficult to hit me. And if... Like, surely that's what literally this whole run has been about. Being as difficult to hit as possible. While just nuking from afar.
Okay. If I ended up with Brimstone and Sad Bombs, then this would actually be one of the few runs that is capable of instant killing damage gating bosses. In the same way that last run, I had Sad Bombs and Brimstone and Glitter Bombs and Conjoined. So I shot out so many different uh, BFF, BFF. Increases the size of my orbitals. It'll keep me safer. So I shot out so many different sources of damage at the same time that the boss just died instantly. You can go back, last episode, watch my hush kill. Spoilers, I guess. But, you know, these usually end up going out on the same day. So. While I'm still in a place to be able to make progress in the game, I think spoilers are implied. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's technically not wrong to take, but whatever. Okay. Really like a Crawl Splice Black Market. Crawl Splice, though. Well, that was actually pretty good. Alright, let's go. Okay, Shale. No reason to take that. Oh, wowzers. Well, I've got to take it. Really? An extra life? Well, I'm taking that as well, then. <laughs> 1.5 times damage multiplied. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I can't test for the secret room without possibly risking and losing my uh, HP up. One up, I mean. And the one up is really important to me right now. Uh, yeah, that easily could have killed me. Oh, God. Each of these waves is now a huge problem for me. Oh, I wish I still had Krampus' head. And I'm dead. Yep. That's all it took. As I said, just a large amount of enemies on the screen, that's all it would have taken. Ah, uh, It was such a promising run. All right, we're 30 minutes into the episode. Let's go again. Oh, well. I don't know if I'll ever get a run as good as that again, actually. Good lord, it was good. Okay, I could take the ability to re-roll my stats a bunch. That would be interesting. I don't use that item often. Hmm. Well, no matter what I decide to do, I'm gonna have to do it later. Okay. I don't really like using the D4 as lost, by the way, if you're wondering why I've never used the D4 as lost. Uh, because Holy Mantle is really fucking important. If you haven't got already, like, nine lives, nine lives, by the way, cannot be re-rolled. Uh, but if you haven't already got something like nine lives, re-rolling Holy Mantle is just going to lose you the game. Almost all the time. Oh, wow, not even the last wave. Cruel. And we pretty much managed to clear up, at least before the last wave got here. Well, most things we managed to clear up. Not everything, but still pretty good. 
Oh, not the last wave. Never mind. There was another wave after it. I'm dumb. Okay. I'm quite grateful for the fire rate up because this is a pretty significant fire rate up. The shot speed down is a little harmful. I mean, this one has to happen. Glitter bombs. Interesting. Now, if I had this last run, I would have just been able to farm money and buy the entire video game. Let's take it. Damage up, shot speed up. It's great. Tier speed. Tier delay. No, not tier delay. Tier shot speed. There we go. That's down. So that's kind of annoying. But yeah, it gave me a tier delay down. So if I take coat hanger, I should actually be at my tier cap. But it should also still be faster than the normal tier cap. Because when... Mysterious Liquid, or Mysterious... Not Mysterious Liquid. Mysterious Liquid is a completely different item. When... Uh, whatever this item is called. I can't remember its name right now. I'm sorry. My brain isn't working. When this item changes your tier stats, my understanding is it changes the tier delay stat, not the tier rate stat. Never the tier rate stat. So I should get, when I pick up the coat hanger, a negative two on my tier stat. Negative one, really? Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, well. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult to do now. Uh, at least I still got the damage up from the mysterious liquid or whatever it's called. Oh god. The problem is, now I have super low range, so I actually have to get really close in if I actually want to deal any damage. And getting close in against these bosses is a really great way to just get caught up in the crossfire. Caught up in the crossfire. Take everything. And move onwards. Um... Yeah, I don't know about this run. Oh, thanks for lockup. I don't know about this run yet. We'll see. We'll see. That's not going to affect me, unfortunately. It is a shot speed up, though. Shot speed up is pretty good. I do actually want the Halo. The all stats up right now. I'm kind of desperate. Hmm... Alright, guess we're just going to have to complete some waves. Just want some damage up, please. Some orbitals, some damage up. Maybe Brimstone, Epic Fetus, Mom's Knife. <laughs> Monstro's Lung. You know, just all of these things. Just think, if I hadn't taken Epic Fetus, then Monstro's Lung actually would have cut through all of those envies immediately. My big weakness would have been completely fine. Oh well. This just means I get to play more greed mode, so I guess I'm totally okay with it. There was a suggestion on a recent episode that I do one greed mode run and one normal run per uh, per day because I'm currently doing two videos a day for this episode uh, for this episode for this content if you're unaware. I think that's a pretty good idea, but at the same time, greed mode while I love it, I can see that 
one, like half of my content being greed mode is a little much greed mode. So I'm thinking the happy medium is probably each day. Wow. It's probably each day to have a normal run. And then each other day to have either a greed or a daily mode. So that means 25% of my content will be greed mode, 25% of it. What? 25% of my content will be greed mode, 25% of my content will be the... Huh? I've already had you. 25% of my content will be the dailies, and then the other 50 is all just... Normal. I actually don't care about blowing those up. I care about blowing these up more. Oh, cool. The key makes that worth it. I really want to get Mom's box. I love that item. I think it's a really, 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 really good item. So I'm going to have to put this here. Yeah. Oh, nice. I positioned it real well, apparently. Managed not to re-roll the items. But still managed to get everything I wanted. Cool. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, would. Alright, and... Finish him off. Oh, good lord. That was kind of annoying. Thanks to the flight and spectral tears and the fact that there is a lot of rocks on this map right now. I can try and keep myself safe pretty easily. Your tears aren't spectral. Ha ha ha. Great. Well, there goes that safe haven. Mm-hmm. Also, thanks to my increased tier rate, some of these I can just stare down. Oh, beautiful! It even killed one of my enemies for me. Skip a wave and kill an enemy in the next wave. That was really good. Thank you. And we'll go tapes, uh, take Mom's box. I don't like to re-roll. Again, I mentioned it earlier. Sure. I could probably just use Bomber Boy to kill these guys instantly, like every single one of the bosses that's going to show. But at the same time, I really want to bomb the... Uh, oh, fuck this. At the same time, I really, really, really want to bomb the guys uh, in the shop, the shopkeepers. What am I playing? Spelunky? Bomb the shopkeepers? Oh, yeah. oh no, thank you. Anything going on around here? Not really, and... I'm feeling like maybe I want to... Oh, God, I definitely want to throw a bomb in here. Oh, God. Oh, dance! Shit. I'm fucked. I, it's over. Whew. Am I... I'm done. I'm, I got through it. I did have to waste all of my bombs, but I did get through it. Burkano. Perthro's also really cool. Uh, I mean, I guess my best opportunity to use Perthro is going to be not in a shop. Weirdly. Because shops at least replace their own things anyway. Ah. Uh, D6. No. D6 isn't even great in this mode. Right, I can't just walk in there instantly. 1.5 times damage multiplier. Don't mind if I do. Definitely take this. I actually like Gish. Wow. We just find really good things. Well, I guess I'm holding on to the Perth Rover then. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Not am I, I'm not holding on to it. Actually, I will hold on to it right now. 
Two of them. If there's two of the same pill, I'll totally try. Otherwise, they're not worth it. So now I'll leave the Perthro in here by itself. I mean, no reason not to take this. It's just from free damage for me right now. Clears the next wave for free. Oh my god. Oh my god. The counterfeit penny is so big. Stop the waves. Because I can't afford to take any damage right now. Counterfeit penny. Every single time I pick up a coin, it is a chance to be one more coin than it should be. I have to keep stopping the wave because I keep taking damage and losing my... Holy Mantle, but now I can take this at least. Increases my speed. My shot speed still needs to go up. Tier rate still needs to go up a little bit as well. I'm unlikely to earn that, but it's possible. Watch battery. More watch drops. Can't do it. More watch, sorry. More uh, battery drops. Yeah, I can't really afford to use that one. Uh, I could. I could end up with enough money, and I did. Perfect. To get Blood Clot, that is. Oh, I even slowed him down. Ah, uh, there goes my shielding. Ooh, that was uh, almost, almost forgot to come in here. Luckily, it wouldn't have mattered. That was, oh, never mind. It would have mattered. <laughs> Total of five cents I would have missed. Take Blood Clot. That's small damage up. Don't really care, I guess. Uh, sure. Go down to the next floor. Is there a bomb in there? I'll use a bomb. Perfect. Depths. Check here. Neither of these are good. Uh, actually, this is a shot speed up and that's a range up, but you know what? Neither of them are good enough. Uh, sure, range plus damage. Perfect. Cost me five cents and I got ten. I'll take this for the range and shot speed. That should be the last time I need to take any shot speed up. Um, I also want to take Mom's purse at some point. Oh, nice. Another pair throw. Nice. But yes, I also want to take Mom's Purse at some point because I am going to end up with trinkets that I really want. Like, eh, not that one. But eventually, I'm going to have trinkets show up that I really, really would like to have that I won't be able to hold because, well, I'm kind of bound to have to hold the counterfeit penny until the end of time right now. Because greed mode. So, like, if, uh, say, I don't know, Cancer showed up. If Cancer showed up, I need Cancer. Perfect. It'd be lovely for me. But, of course, I wouldn't be able to hold it. I wasn't even going to ask for Mum's Purse, because it's a little much to ask for. Let's face it. I've been getting very lucky recently. From my win with Lost before, that took me to, you know, all of those places...
Sure. Gets two, two things at the same time. Like, every usage of my item will get me two trinkets. <laughs> Just work through until I get all the best trinkets in the game. Nope. Those aren't them. You can fire directly downwards, so I have to stand off, like, south-southeast. Uh-huh. Perfect. Uh, I don't really care about charging it, I guess. So, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that. Okay. Not a problem whatsoever. Dead cat, dead cat, dead cat, dead cat! Dead cat, dead cat, dead cat, dead cat. I can't say it fast enough. Dead cat, dead cat, dead cat. Dead cat, dead cat, dead cat. I can't do it! It's supposed to be the itchy and scratchy thing, but it's too damn quick! Alright. Uh, just tears up. Have to take it. It's not a large tears up, unfortunately, but it is tears up. Ah, damn it! Wasn't close enough. It's weird, that's kind of strictly good, and that makes us smaller, but I don't want either. Alright, let's check this first. Because that only costs 10 cents. No, I've got enough keys. <sighs> Higher tier delay. Lost damage. That was a pretty bum draw for us. Unfortunately, immediately got damage there. A hey, little chest is going to be dropping really cool stuff really often. Possibly trinkets, possibly not. Oh god. Lasers. I don't like him. Oh, fuck. 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 Oh, we are so screwed. Okay, managed... To stop the next wave from spawning. Oh. That was a little scary. Okay. No. Yes. It's an orbital. And that's an orbital as well, I guess, so just hold off. That worked out pretty well. That guy can sometimes be almost unavoidable damage. Thanks, Gish, for slowing down the shot speed so that I could actually dodge that. And we'll take Big Fan. Perfect. Ooh, we've become Bezelbub as well. Nice. Ah, 
Ah, uh, dang it. I have taken damage. Oh god, the trinkets on the floor are actually providing obstacles, weirdly. And I'm dead. Yeah, I didn't even... Oh, uh, it telegraphed it so much and I just didn't even think about it. I was like, no, they're gonna do some other attack, they're jumping. I kept thinking they were normal monstro for some reason. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that run kind of came tumbling down because we just... You need to be more overpowered than that. That was pretty overpowered. We were pretty powerful. But just not enough. Oh, well. I really regret taking the Mysterious Liquid, but I did want another syringe towards my transformation as Spun. And also the Mysterious Liquid, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's not Mysterious Liquid. It's like Experimental Treatment. There we go. The Experimental Treatment is now actually better, I've heard. It's been made so that it actually does more. Which is good. Very good in my mind. My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. has been the Binding Isaac Afterbirth. We didn't manage to succeed, although we did get stupidly overpowered in a bunch of different places and then through the game ourselves. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself regardless. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the video game, past, present, and pr Perucha? Past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.